If you're from Queensland and watch Channel 7 enough to know the name of the female host of the morning show, sometimes even my mum forgets what it is, <laughs> then you might still possibly be scared by the terrorist threat gauge which has moved from medium to high, indicating that there's a likely chance that a coalition government may be voted out next election. Be alert but not alarmed. I don't know, it's on high. Maybe it's time we all participate in mass hysteria area and get diabetes from eating huge quantities of our favourite sometimes foods because... What does it matter? Society's a marked man as there's now a high chance of terrorism in Australia. Our backwater nation, located 15,000 kilometres away from the US and Great Britain... It's a long order, god damn, you must have gotten the seafood basket of terrorist rage. Cause you're the biggest fish we have to fry. No, what about the hospital bomb threat? And the bazooka? The ones that have been missing since 2002? Yeah, it's like Godzilla, I guess, worse with time. While the bomb threats, which occur in schools and hospitals across the nation daily and have been for years, effectively making these of little more importance than a real life? Most haven't. <sighs> Guys, I want to get swept up in lowest common denominator patriotism so I can get behind the idea that having a military presence in another country is somehow an act of defense. Ooh, ooh, defense. Ooh. Ooh, but give me something fresh. I'm the same demographic that buys fuzzy dice for cars. I need novelty. You're asking me to think outside the box? This is Canberra, mate. Not some creative master hub that puts Pixar to shame. Just accept that a terrorist attack is, quote, likely. I'll back that up. You can measure the likelihood of an attack by us with a very open organisation that's a fan of Allah and being mathematically honest. And so to keep you safe in an environment with a high chance of a terrorist attack, the defences raised will not make any difference to daily life apart from airport and footy match queues getting slightly longer. No order in this event. Oh, bombs. You can't even bring any bombs anymore. Keeping you safe and dehydrated. Justified to raise on pretty much the lone fact that around 60 of 23 million Australians are believed to be overseas fighting in Middle Eastern fanatical armies. Yeah, it's just like the 300 Spartans, man, except most of us are fat, haven't been training to be warriors since babies. The closest thing is like one of us owns a mini mod or some shit. Fudging up all the missions, bitch. And most of us are going for heap sick reasons, like Yeah, man, fuck Australia, brass, making fun of me, I school call me a war and shit. That's for Greeks, man. I'm gonna go back to the best country ever. Syria and oh my god this place is a shit hole. This is one of the only reasons that the Australian terror alert level was raised from moderate to high. Ah, oh, well don't be fooled, they're getting trained by very evil people who hate us not because we invaded a sovereign nation to dictate who and who couldn't gain access to their only natural resource, resulting in close to a million civilian deaths, followed by a decade of savage suburban mob rule and drone bombings, the terror of which I'm imagining is probably just slightly more traumatic than waiting around at a train station and wondering, Oh my god. God, imagine if a bomb went off while I was standing here. That'd be so random. With all that huge scale death and destructive anarchy which the Liberal Party wholeheartedly supported guns blazing back in 2003 and again a little over a decade later, also one man could profit from the misery and despair of tens of millions of people. If you think that's the reason terrorist organisations hate us so much, then you don't understand geopolitics half as well as our Prime Minister does, who genuinely believes the reason they want harm done to us is because we're, quote, free to worship any god we choose. And it's actually happened in real life. Mr. Abbott has surged ahead in the polls when it comes to his handling of global affairs. Kids, keep it simple, stupid. Raising the terror alert level. The political scapegoat equivalent of a top 40 radio station declaring, 90s Flashback Friday, woo, and this week's all about boy bands. Oh yeah, I remember them. What a blast from the past. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.